Hello you guys and welcome to another how to improve on video. Um, as you can see this is a bit different and um, the reason for that is that um, the first part of the video is broken and I cannot fix it. Um, the audio for the f for my media files um, is broken. Uh, luckily I still have the second part of the video where I point out how to improve on the heroes. Uh, what you sh have to keep in mind is that in this, in the second part, I refer back to the first part, which will not be revealed, which is not uh, something that you will um, have any knowledge of. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm, at least you will get something from it. You'll still learn how to improve on that specific hero. Um, and hopefully you will enjoy the last games. Um, so with that in mind, see you guys in a bit. Alright you guys, we find ourselves on the Towers of Doom. Um, Goldan, I haven't played well, as much as I would have liked to to improve on him. I think I can do him. Uh, I thought I could play him decently, um, but it's nothing to like shine out on. Um, I typically go for all the same talents each each game. And the talents that I go for is just trying to build corruption, um, because corruption is um, is the strongest build uh, at this moment. Thank you, Atenas. Um, you want to um, complete your quest as soon as possible. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't get him. Um, because the first talent really improves uh, improves your overall strength. Having it uh, return back to you allows for some great interactions and some great setups. Go forth and claim the altars in my name. The Raven Lord demands it. This mine, mine Are you scared, Lucio? Uh, in general, I think that that you have to hit your life tap button quite often, um, but that's just a part of the playstyle, um, and it it definitely gives Gul'dan a unique playstyle. Um, we are going with life tap uh, restores more mana. Come here, Arthurs. Personally, I like to uh, recharge uh, my mana as soon as I have the chance for it. Uh, 
Um, oops. Yeah. Yeah, almost level seven. Ouch! I'm out of position. You cannot die. Well, I still have you, that is. And that was my mistake. I shouldn't have been that far into the airline. Um, I should have kept my distance right there. Um, and that's one of the things that I, I still have to learn some things about Gul'dan. As I said, I think I play him decently. I don't think I play him magnificently. Um, I go for Bound by Flame because I want to put down my, um, my corruption as often as possible. Yeah, you do that, Arthas. Oops. Damn it. Uh, the Lucio plays pretty well. He's really saving them a lot of the time. Is. I'm just going to stand right here. Again, clearly out of position. Um, I can't take that kind of a beating um, on a lane. And I'm definitely too aggressive to play at Gul'dan. Oh, they're almost level 10. Okay. Alright. We're going for Horrify. Go away. And it will not be stolen from me. I should disengage there, um, because they had a numbers advantage. I know that we killed we killed a tennis, but uh, I no, they didn't have a numbers advantage. But we should still have left because we didn't have a lot of uh, HP on our hand. Uh, they they run a double tank. And we do not. Um, so there was really no reason to just keep going. Infinite possibilities. I you dry. No. Go away. Yeah, you come here. Damn it. <laughs> and Horrify can be a little tricky to, to land correctly. Because you want to land it so that they will run back to you. So you can deal damage to them. Um, that's not something that I have... 
uh, that I've practiced a whole lot. The time is now, heroes. Claim the altars in. Yeah, I'm going to suck you dry. Uh, die from poison. And then I can die. Just. <laughs> Holy. Well, that's a shame. But we reached the. Uh, we reached uh, the end of our stacks, so that's something. Um, I'm going top. Damn, false that. Um, do we want spell armor? Uh, no. We want health stone, just like we always go for. Um. So again, positioning is something that. If I want to play Gul'dan uh, more consistently, uh, I will have to play him. Uh, I, w I will have to improve on positioning with him. And my team is getting toxic. That's just fantastic. Maybe I can get this one. The altars have risen. Activate them now. Kill him. Don't run away from him. I'll take it. Quickly went south. Is that all? Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core. That Got him now. Uh, corruption deals bonus damage. Just 
this. The master will be pleased. Ouch. Be swift, heroes. Do not help me. Uh, I got out. Yes, give me more health. Uh, I have to do that. Oh. Holy moly. I have to do that. I can't. <sighs> this is this is too bad. I don't tolerate toxicity in any capacity, and I don't even want to sit on the sideline and watch people be toxic. Get in here. I dare you. No, we cannot. Um, so not a ter uh, not a terrific game to show Gul'dan, but um, there's still some things that I could uh, that I could definitely improve on. Um, so one thing you want to do is to um, learn the timing for <coughs> learn the timing for your spells. Um, where and when to use Horrify and how to ensure that you get your corruption stacks um, or just land a corruption is really impactful. Um, the next thing is positioning. Um, you don't want to be caught out because you have no means of escape before level 20 where you can get the demonic circle. Um, and then for God's sake use him for, for laning and lane clear because he can generate an insane amount of XP if you allow him to do that um, so focus on the skills and the timing and landing of them uh, positioning and lane clearing and I hope that you enjoyed this uh, Gul'dan video even though the last game was pretty bad uh, not just play wise uh, but also for having such toxic environment to play under um, I still hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.